the ultimate warrior. Whoa, daddy. Okay. He is, uh, uh, Jimmy was like this, okay? He, he come in, you know, he's, he's, I mean, he looks like a freaking nature body, all that stuff, which is great. That's money. But you also have to be able to do what you do in the ring out there to tell a story or get people, you know, you got you to be able to put things together. And so he came to Dallas when I was there and Dingo Warrior, right? And so they, I'll tell you this, you'll love this. <laughs> he couldn't do the press slam as big as he was. He can't go up and he'd flip and fall or, he couldn't get the timing down and all that. So they, they come to me and go, Lenny, I go, oh, thank you. We need you to teach this guy. How to do. We got you with him for two weeks around the league. I go, I appreciate it, man. So anyway, I want, we want you to teach him how to do it. So they knew I could teach. So I, so I, I said, come on, brother. Here's how you do it. So we did it. For good. Finally, like the third, he's got to where he, he could do it. So you got to get one hand here in the crotch and then one, you know, up on just the chest. And I push. As I push off your shoulders, you press. Okay, so that's that simple. We just go together and time that. Okay, and you, look, you, you, how strong you are. It should be nothing. So finally, one night, I man, we did it for two or three. Couldn't get it. He couldn't get it. Finally, we go to some show. It was the outside show. <laughs> I'll never forget this. And he goes, uh, and so I call it. I call the spot. Press slam me, and he and he he does it. And he go right up, man. Zip. Perfect. Right. And, but he's so excited, man. He got me, right? And he's walking around. He's walking around. He won't let me go. Only problem is when he went in my crotch, you ever had a doctor check you for a hernia? He had a finger that far. <laughs> Brother, I couldn't say anything. I was going to go, let me go. But nothing wouldn't come out. I was like, when he turned me and I rolled out on the, on the floor, I cussed him for everything. I, you ignorance. <laughs> Anyway, we finally got it. You know, he finally got it. But I thought he was going to kill me first. But he was green like that. And then, I mean, he never did. I don't think everybody said he was a great worker. <laughs> but uh, I had the psychology, but he just had that look. But the one thing that got me, and, and this is, I hated to see this. I, I did some, of, not to the excess that he did, but I did some of it myself at an early age. It cost me a lot of money. But he did this too. I was in the... I was in, uh, well, here in Houston. And uh, uh, that's when John Nord, the uh, berserker, was working for him. Well, Johnny had all these extra miles. And that's why I was living in Portland, Oregon. Johnny had all these extra miles, free tickets. And I go, he said, I'm, he called me, because we're good friends. He said, I'm coming to Houston. And he said, I know your mom and dad lives here and all stuff, but I want to go drinking with you, boy. You know, like that. I said, yeah, well, I said, I ain't got the money to fly there right now. I'm busy anyway. He goes, I got you a free ticket. And he goes, but on one thing, the first night's mine. I said, send a ticket, buddy. <laughs> so, of course. So I flew here and they had uh, some show here. It was at the summit back then. Okay. So I go there and I'm looking for Johnny in the dressing room. I hadn't found him yet. And I walked by his dressing room and, and Jim was in there, the, the ultimate warrior. The door's cracked. He goes, Lenny, see me right Come here. So I come in and say, hey, so what's going on, man? They had catered food in the room, all this stuff. That's when he had the world title, right? He won from Hogan. Mm -hmm. Okay, the WrestleMania before. And so I go, man, dude, you got to deck that. He's looking out to take care of you. He said, hey, I ride in the limousine here. I stay in Star 5 Hotels, brother. I, hey, and I tell him, I want, look at it, chicken breast. On my diet, everything's on my diet. I go, damn, brother. He goes, yeah, he, he makes you a like, champion, man. I said, that's cool. That's that's good business, you know. I wish we could have done that back then. We're we're eating baloney blowouts from town to town. <laughs> anyway, and he goes, he's still being a champion. But he but then he goes, hey, he shuts the door. I won't talk to you, man. Then I know you've been around. I respect you. You've done all this stuff in the business and all this. He said, man, you know, I'm quitting this sandwich. I go, why? You just told me about all. That. He goes, they screwed me over, man. I said, what are you talking about? He goes, the last, the last WrestleMania. See, I got the world, I'm the world champ. I said, I know. He goes, yeah, you know what they paid Hogan? A million dollars. You know what they paid me? 500000 That's bullshit, man. I'm out of here. I went, really? I said, Jimmy, let me ask you something. Do you remember when I was trying to teach you how to do the press slam? And you about killed me? I said, what did they pay us that night? What was their guarantee? $75. You better think about it. <laughs> That's true. 
And he did quit over that bullshit, which was stupid. You know what I mean? But ego does a lot of things. I, and I did, I did the same thing myself, not that kind of money, but I did the same thing. But mine was a little different story. With Bill Watts, it cost me a lot of money because ego.